you ever open a magazine to the centerfold and find your dreams? Her skin looks smooth like a new form pearl, completely exposed like a fantasy girl, wearing pieces of leather and fringe. Hey everybody, Elisa Stillwell Rogers here, back again with Simply Southern Recipes by Rocket City Girls. Um, today we are going to do pork steaks and my take on a Cajun mac and cheese using crawfish. So let's get our pork steaks marinating. My husband and I can eat really, really well off this right here, probably all week. Uh, huge pork steaks, five dollars. We are all about being budget friendly. So, ooh, take them out. Goodness gracious, look at the size of those. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. Okay. Yeah, we usually just cut them in half. We'll get three good meals out of it for sure. Okay, now what I do is I usually start off by just putting a little extra virgin olive oil on the steaks. I like the flavor, the fruitiness of it. Then I'm going to sprinkle onion powder all over the top. Flip them. Do it again. Okay. Onion powder. Alrighty. Now I go back with black pepper. And now I'm not crushing my black pepper and doing it myself. I'm just being lazy today. Because it's Sunday and I can. So there we go. Black pepper. And black pepper just makes everything better. As long as you don't overdo it, you can always overdo a good thing. Flip these. I'm also going to put some fried green tomatoes with our meal tonight, but I have a video for that already, so I'll just add the link to it so that you can check out wonderful meal. This is a wonderful meal, especially in the summertime when you're, everybody's cooking out. You just can't beat it. Okay, we're doing half of a cup. of a good steak marinade, whatever you prefer. This is a Dale's. You can use Moore's, what have you. Then I add water to the bottle because that Dale's and the Moore's and stuff, it can be really salty. And too much salt can ruin it. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and let them marinate for about four to six hours. Alright everybody, while the steaks are marinating, uh, we're getting ready to make Cajun crawfish mac and cheese. Now, 
we are real big on using what you have around the house. So when COVID hit and everything, we stocked up on these 38 cents a pack. So we have two of these. I have a pound of crawfish. I have sprayed out my Pyrex dish with some nonstick spray. I have some Frank's Red Hot. I have a half a cup of blue cheese. Now, when I think Cajun, there's a lot of French influence there. Blue cheese is very French. For a little cha-cha-cha spicy, I've got the pepper jack cheese, four ounces. Okay, I have a teaspoon of Cajun, or not Cajun, but um, cayenne pepper. I have two tablespoons of some Cajun seasoning. I have a two, let's see, yeah, um, one teaspoon of ground mustard, four pieces of bacon chopped up, two green onions diced. And what I'm going to do is I am going to open these packs and lay my cheese right there. Because we're going to use it too. We don't let nothing go to waste. Especially these days. Now let me get over here to the stove and I'll show you what to do next. Okay. Now I put a good amount of salt so it can get into the elbow macaroni real good. And to keep it from sticking, just a drizzle of some good olive oil. And then I go back. That's one packet. Two packets. You don't overcook. You take it off when it's al dente. Otherwise, it's going to be too mushy, and you don't want that when you're serving this dish. So we'll come back check on it in a couple minutes. All right, guys. Got a half a stick of butter. Our macaroni is draining as we speak. So we're going to go ahead and get this cheese gravy done. Hey, I don't put whisk in here. Somebody put whisk in here. Um, I wonder who. Okay. Now this is pretty fast cheese sauce, but it is so good. Okay. Right. That was two tablespoons of flour. It don't matter if it's self-rising or just plain flour. It, it accomplishes the same thing. So I'm trying to incorporate all of this. Start smelling like a nutty flavor. That means that it's breaking down the way it should be. <clears throat> okay. Now remember my packets from the boxed mac and cheese. Packet number one. Okay, that is packet number two. And it kind of got a little toasty on the bottom. We want that. We like that flavor for the Cajun dish. Okay. Now, we add milk. I would say do like a half of a cup at a time until it's the consistency that you want it to be. And you keep stirring too. Okay. So 
So, we got two packets of the cheese powder. We added two tablespoons of flour, a half a stick of butter. That was actually about three-fourths of a cup that I just poured in there. But that's fine because I got a whisk and it's all getting incorporated. So, my poo. Uh, excuse my French. I hate it when I drop stuff. But I am all thumbs some days. Just depends on what all I got going on and if I'm in a hurry or not. Okay. Now, see it bubbling right there? And it's getting thick. Now for the blue cheese. Now, this blue cheese is going to give it a little tang. Not just that, but it's also going to make it creamier. It's a really creamy cheese, and I adore it especially when you're using it in dishes. Flip that off of my... Now, time to add a little bit more milk. Okay. And stir. Love that color. Okay, now it's time for your four ounces of pepper jack cheese. I love pepper jack cheese too. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to continue to thicken up. So at this point, after adding that cheese, I'm adding a little bit more milk. I would have to say at this point I have poured almost like a cup and a half in there. Yes, I know. That's my phone telling me that I it's time for me to go do something. But hold on. Um... We, at this point, Cajun seasoning, two tablespoons, dry mustard, a tablespoon. There we go. One teaspoon of cayenne pepper and actually that dry mustard was one table or teaspoon not a tablespoon that would be entirely too much okay now I'm incorporating all of this now when you do your mac and cheese al dente it's going to absorb this, so you don't want this sauce real thick. You want it kind of thin because it's going to continue to thicken in your oven. And which means you'll be putting your oven on 350, preheating. Okay, just a little. I'm going to use the rest of this. So, brought it. Two cups is what I used, which is perfect. Okay, now let's get back over here and put it all together. All right, look at all that crawfish. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Now, I'm adding a tablespoon of Frank's Red Hot to the cheese mixture now. 
make it extra yummy good. Okay. Now, those four pieces of chopped bacon go right on top. Let me tell you, this stuff is phenomenal. Pouring it in here, just like that. Stir it all up where it's all incorporated. Now, pour it in your casserole. Oh my goo. Now, we sprinkle breadcrumbs all over the top. Now, I add extra Parmesan to my breadcrumbs, always have. I like the way it crusts up on top. Then, with my other half a stick of butter, I'm going to put some sliced butter on top so that it'll brown really pretty. And put it on there like this. butter's melting because it's hot as blue blazes in my kitchen. It's very humid in Alabama. But I wouldn't live anywhere else. I love my home state. My family's been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. Help establish this area. I'm going to put this in the oven for 45 to 50 minutes until it's golden brown and bubbling on top. Then we'll dress it up with some green onion and there's our side dish. 45 minutes. Nice golden brown. I got these green onions. Sprinkle them all over the top. Because you got to have your greens. And I'm going to spoon out just that little bitty bit right there. And let my husband, he's going to hand me the camera now, let my husband blow on it. What do you think, baby? That's awesome. Awesome? Mm -hmm. You could make a meal off that? By itself. Well, there's one side. Now we got to get them steaks on the grill and get my fried green tomatoes done. 
and we'll have a meal. Here they are curling. This is one of those pork steaks cut in half. See how huge that is? Use any kind of barbecue sauce that you really like. I use my um, homemade uh, fennel and fig barbecue sauce. Um, I'll put the marinade that we normally do them with. So tender it's falling apart. You can cut it with a fork. This Cajun crawfish mac and cheese, my husband said, is absolutely phenomenal. Um, fried green tomatoes, I'll put the link on. They go perfect with this meal. I make my own um, horseradish sauce that goes on top. And that is a meal fit for a king. And it'll last us all week long. So, if you want to keep on um, following us, please subscribe. Like our videos. I'll put more on the more people I start getting. Um, and come back and join us again at uh, Simply Southern Recipes by Rocket City Girls. Hope you have a great rest of the summer.